Hello and welcome to the Car Care Not channel. Welcome back to another video in my series about how to maintain your Toyota, the DIY edition. Now in today's video, we're going to be covering spark plug replacement on your four cylinder Toyotas. Now I understand some of these models will be a little bit different, but I'll try to give you all the information just like we did with the oil change video. So you can replace your spark plugs, do it right and not have any issues. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider checking out some of my other videos, subscribe to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. And without further ado, let's get to work. Small overview before we get started. So on most Toyota models, there are two sizes of spark plugs. There's the standard 5.8 inch one that pretty much every car has but then some of the newer ones have a 14 millimeter spark plug which is a much smaller spark plug a much smaller tube so you will need a tool well you can either use standard sockets with and then pick the spark plug with a magnet or you can use a specialized socket that actually picks the spark plug for you and we'll show you both as we go the car we're working on today actually has the 14 millimeter one but Either style you have, they're readily available, and if you don't want to buy a special socket for it, just use a 5.8 socket or use a 14 millimeter socket and then just use a magnet to pick it, like I said. And uh, they're very straightforward. There are a few things you'll see that needs attention. And another tool you will need for this one is a torque wrench. Now I understand some people will just tighten these and good to go, and it'll be okay initially, but the next time you replace them, if you over tighten them, they're likely gonna be very hard to remove. If you under tighten them, they actually could cause you some real serious issues. So I advise you use a torque wrench to torque these spark plugs out. And you don't have to buy a very fancy and expensive torque wrench like the one you will see me use in this video. I'm a professional, I do this for a living, I need a good torque wrench, but any torque wrench will do as long as it's calibrated and it's right. So let's get to work, let's pull these spark plugs out. Okay folks, so you're going to remove the engine cover. We have four coils, four spark plugs for a four cylinder engine. We're going to first disconnect the connectors. Now the connectors, you just squeeze them like this and sometimes they're hard to come out. So here's a little trick for you to remove these. Use a flathead screwdriver, a small one. Just pull the tab up carefully and it'll come right out. Some of these tabs will break and that's just with comes with age and older engines. A good trick is use a little bit of form and place gasket right here and then put the connector back. The form and place gasket or fippage is not glue, it's going to come off the next time you pull the connector off. And all this pin does really that usually breaks is keep this connector down so it won't vibrate out and disconnect from the plug. So let's remove all three, four connectors. Now with our connectors out of the way, we're gonna remove the bolts for the coils. Now in most Toyotas, this is a 10 millimeter bolt. On some of the newer ones, especially the A25A, the new four cylinder engine, these are eight millimeters. So let's go ahead and remove those. Now that the bolts are out, you're going to pull on the coil. One thing I want you to pay attention to is the gasket of the coil. So if you see right here, the coil has a gasket. That gasket tends to stay on the cylinder head sometimes. So when you pull it out, make sure your gasket comes out with it and then just connect it back on the coil like this. Just like so. This is a weather seal. This is actually what keeps water from going into the spark plug tube and corroding it out. So let's pull all four coils. One thing I will say about the coil order, it doesn't matter where they go, they're all the same coil. There's no reason to spend any extra time in making, numbering them and doing all this. They're all the same, there's no, there's no point in that. Now let's remove the spark plugs. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, 
This particular engine, the 2ZR on this 2014 Corolla, has a 14 millimeter style spark plugs. Some of them are 5 eighths. Um, I am using a tool, and believe it or not, this is not a Toyota tool. This is a tool from a Mercedes that works really good and is readily available. But all these tools are readily available online. It's just a 14 millimeter um, spark plug socket. So let's remove our first spark plug. One trick I'll tell you about to remove spark plugs. Never use power tools to initially break it loose. Always break it loose by hand. If you want to use power tools after that, go ahead. In this case, the cowl is a little bit in the way. By the way, some of these, uh, before I move on, some models, like the third generation Prius, you can't pull the coils out because the cowl is in the way. This is the cowl. So you have to remove that or at least loosen it and pull it up a little bit so you can get the coils out. That's not the case with this engine, but can't really get any power tools here, so I'll just remove them by hand. Let's remove all four spark plugs and we'll continue. So I pulled the first spark plug out and let me say a few things about this. First, this. Do you see, do you see how the spark plug looks like? That is actually a leakage of spark through the spark plug and that's not a good sign. That means the spark plug is a little uh, on its way out. Now this is an iridium tip spark plug. And one thing I will say about spark plugs folks, they are due every 120,000 on most models. Some of the newer stuff, they're becoming uh, every 60,000. But one thing I will, one tip I'll tell you about the original spark plugs and how you can identify them. If you look at the very tip of the spark plugs, let me see, if, there we go. You see those three dots and sometimes you'll have a number or a letter. That's your indication, this is a factory plug. Something for you to know if you wanna know if this has been replaced before or not. Folks, when it comes to spark plugs, I highly recommend you always use original spark plugs. Yes, you can get aftermarket, yeah, they're a few bucks cheaper, this and that. It's not worth it, you replace these so, unfrequently that, I mean, once every 120K or 60,000 miles, that's not every 5, 10, 15,000 miles. If you're not gonna stick with the original plugs, hard to get, whatever the case may be, GK of the correct number, these plugs will have a number on them. If you notice, this is an original spark plug, it is a Denso. And the replacement spark plug, which I'm gonna pull out of the box now, is a Denso spark plug. So you can actually, and there's a number underneath that that name. And that's the spark plug you wanna get from Denso. It'll be exactly the same plug. Some of them will be NGK, some of them will be Denso. Try to, with Toyotas, try to stay with these two brands and you should have no issues. And one other thing about new plugs, at least Toyota plugs, the original ones, they are pre-gapped from, from when they're made. So don't worry about the gap, just install them and you're good to go. So let's continue removing the four spark plugs and we'll go about torquing them. Now some of my viewers have asked me how do we read spark plugs. Folks, for indication, this is a healthy spark plug. I want you to notice a few things. The threads are dry. The spark plug tip, like the inside of the tip, looks clean. And it has a slight whitish tint to it. This is a healthy spark plug on a Toyota. If you have, if it's wet, we might have issues with the ignition system or too much fuel or the car is ran all the time when it's cold and never let, never is allowed to warm up too much. Another thing is if you have excessive carbon buildup at the tip, that's also not a good indication of good maintenance and good driving habits. That white tint at the back, that indicates a good burning mixture, that there are no other issues causing a lean or rich mixture. And overall, this is a healthy plug actually. And the idea with spark plugs is, you don't wanna wait for them to get really bad. You wanna replace them when they're aged like this one has the little burn 
part right here. Actually, we're replacing on this car. This car has less miles than 120, but as a preventative maintenance, we're taking care of this now, and actually for doing this video, I'm taking care of it early for the owner of this car. So, here's your plug. It's the original plug, gone. It's, this is actually a very healthy plug. As you can see, the tip is not burned. It looks good, but we're going to replace it with the new ones, and it's good for another 120. Let's install the new spark plugs. Folks, Toyotas, if you're going to torque this plug to specifications, you do not need to put any NICs or anything on the threads. Actually, if you use NICs, you might have seizing problems down the road because people often use the incorrect NICs and it gets burned with the temperature. Do not use anything. Just install this plug as is, as you see, and you will have not a single issue as long as you torque it to specifications. So well, let's go ahead and install all, all these new four plugs. Now the torque specification for this specific engine is 15 foot-pound. Most Toyotas will be between 15 and 18, but you do want to find that torque spec before you actually start this job. So let me, let me torque this one down and we'll install the, the other three. So after torquing all the plugs back, we're going to install our coils, making sure that the weather seal right here is on. Install your four 10 millimeter bolts. After that, put your connectors back in. And you're all set. So there you have it folks. This was very simple. You just saved yourself at least 100, 200, 300 bucks, depends where you live and how the labor rates are. This is again, after the oil change, this is also great basic maintenance. You're gonna up your game a little bit with tools. You need a torque wrench for this one, but torque wrenches are not expensive and it's a very good investment to have in your garage. That way you can torque everything down. You won't have issues if you torque everything down. Now you notice the bolts for the coils, I didn't torque down. I do this every day and most of these bolts, they're just holding the coil down so it wouldn't go flying. It's not a structural important item, just like the spark plugs are. There's no load on them, the coil doesn't have a um, natural come flying off, there's no pressure on it. So snug it down, you're good. If you need the, spark, the coil bolt torque spec, absolutely, I wouldn't disencourage you from torquing everything down. I'm just trying to make everything simple for you. The spark plugs, very important. Coil bolt. Mm, not you can good and tight that one and you're good to go folks I hope you learned something new in this video spark plugs are very important maintenance on Toyotas but they're often left because it's it's a very long interval for these plugs I hope this video was helpful and informative I hope you learned something new we're gonna continue on this series on how to maintain your Toyota the DIY edition so until the next video if you're not a subscriber Consider subscribing to the channel, check out some of my other videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and you have a wonderful day.